Well, hello there. I did not expect my <laughs> first time to be back on camera in a while to be barefaced and puffy in the morning, but here we are. It's been a while since I have posted anything on YouTube. As you guys know, I actually started a separate vlog channel for not that long, maybe a couple of months, and then I just kind of stopped posting completely. I know I didn't post any like explanation or anything on YouTube, and there really isn't that much to it. I think I just kind of lost interest in pursuing YouTube and content creation to be honest and I still do miss making videos but like once you kind of fall off the train and the routine of making them it's just really hard to get back on it because I would spend so much time making videos and now I am spending more time on myself and going out more and stuff and it's it's really nice so it's kind of hard to like make the shift back um i think during the pandemic of course i had like a lot more free time so it was fun to spend that making videos but yeah i'm actually in a new apartment um we moved back in july and i haven't shown you any of it but i just wanted this to be a really chill kind of vlog style video where i just talk about things that i've been loving lately it's the end of the year now and merit sent me a really cute little package of one of their new holiday sets so i just kind of wanted to show you it and use the products and also just like catch you up on skincare and fashion things that i've been loving everything will be linked below of course let me set you guys down okay so here is the merit package it's so freaking pretty merit just absolutely like hits all the marks when it comes to packaging and presentation and just like experience of things. So they have this new set. It's called the Lafette Edition. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it comes in this beautiful like terracotta colored box with of course the gold embossing. And then you open it up and it's this stunningly presented set of some of their products. Some of them are like mini sizes and then some of them are full size products. So on the back it shows you all of the products that come in the set and it says it's a limited edition set of essentials for the holiday parties you're looking forward to and the ones that you're not. So the main product I think that is specific to this set is their signature lip lightweight lipstick in a um, special shade called Aperitif? Aper aperitif? Ap ap aperitif? Aperitif. <laughs> I have no idea. And I have been wanting to try their lipsticks for so long. This one is in like a gorgeous red color. Their lipsticks are like a little bit more on the sheer buildable side, which I think is really nice because it's just a lot easier to wear, especially when you're wearing like <clears throat> more minimal makeup having a color that blends more into your skin and your lips your natural lip color is just so much more not as jarring and then you also get the brow 1980 volumizing pomade that is this little guy here um i don't know i think this might be the full size i think i also have this oh no sorry this is the mascara okay the black packaging is the mascara and then this guy down here is the brow pomade. I believe this comes in different colors, so I wonder which one they sent me. This one is just in the shade in neutral, it looks like. And, oh, I think it's clear. It's a clear, actually maybe I haven't used this. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, this looks great, very excited to use that. And then we have the Perfect Black Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. I don't know, this seems new to me. I haven't been keeping up with all the new beauty releases, but I didn't know that Merit had a tubing mascara. Unfortunately, I don't think tubing mascaras are, like, are my favorite. I don't think they work super great on like Asian straight lashes, but I will give this a try because sometimes it's kind of nice to have a look where like your lashes aren't like straight up. It's nice to just have like a little bit of definition. And then we have the Great Skin, which is also another product that I was really excited about. So this is their Instant Glow Serum, and it's like kind of like a biphase type of serum. And you just like shake it up, I think. 
and it combines the oil and the water and it's just like a very moisturizing type of like liquid serum <clears throat> so very excited to try that i have some pretty big skin updates to share with you guys and then the last thing is bounce so this is the day glow highlighting balm and i'm also oh this one is a little melty i think this comes in maybe two shades and it's just the uh like balm highlighter let's do a little swatch so yeah it's very um Definitely has that bomb texture. I don't know how else to describe it, but this is perfect for just like a nice, subtle little highlight. So yeah, I personally think this is a great little set. It just really kind of has your skin and basic makeup essentials in here, plus that like red lip I'm very excited to try. So yeah, um, let's head into my bathroom and then we can go through my whole get ready routine and then put some of these products on. All right. Welcome to my bathroom. Threw on some contacts just so I'm not like squinting the entire time. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some lip balm. I've actually been really loving this one lately. I got it in Paris, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a couple of stories from my trip, even though I didn't like vlog or anything. But I definitely stopped by the French pharmacy and I went to City Pharma in particular. People said that like they have all the discounts there. So I picked up this Nukes, I think that's how you pronounce the brand, um, Nukes Rev de Meal Honey Lip Balm. The lip balm in the pot in particular is what people recommended. So I actually picked up the honey one and I also got the rose one, which I haven't opened yet. I just thought the honey would be nice and extra nourishing for the winter. So it just looks like this. I feel like the closest thing I've used is like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I also really enjoyed, but once they came out with the lip balm version, I just thought that the packaging was so much easier to use and it was like almost as hydrating and moisturizing as the lip sleeping mask. So I just like stopped purchasing the, the mask. But the lip balm is great like year round and like up until like the worst of winter basically. So I have noticed it being a little bit drier than usual. So this lip balm has been coming in handy. I've just been applying it at night and it seems to make a difference for me. It seems to be really nice and moisturizing so yeah I've been loving it and it was only like six euros or something. So skincare I got a little update for you all so I don't know how many of you at this point followed my skincare journey. Sorry I keep looking at the screen very out of practice. I started off my channel actually making skincare videos. I pretty much self diagnosed myself as having fungal acne for a couple of years actually and at this point I don't know I do think that I had it at some point but it probably went away somewhat quickly as I don't live in like a humid climate and once I like repaired my skin barrier enough I, I do think it went away. The reason why I thought I had it for such a long time was because I had a lot of like congestion on my forehead and it turns out to be, I think that's that's all I had. Like it was just closed comedones and congestion on my forehead in particular. So I don't know if this lighting is any good. I do have like a giant cystic pimple right on my forehead now, which is 100% due to like hormones and stress. But for the most part, my forehead is the clearest it's been in a while. Like there were a couple of weeks where it was even clearer than this. And now I'm just trying to learn how to like manage it and use products that really kind of keep it under control. So first off, double cleansing. Kind of dumb, but I it, it's not something I ever really did because I feel like early in my skincare journey when I was trying a bunch of products, double cleansing wasn't as big of a thing at that point and I just didn't really use it. And once I like totally messed up my skin and thought I had fungal acne, I was like, must stay away from all oils. So I just never really delved into that world until now. Ray Beauty actually came out with the Makeup Rewind Jelly Cleanser and for someone who like stayed away from cleansing oils and cleansing balms for the longest time this just seemed like the perfect intro to double cleansing um, or just like the perfect product for people who don't enjoy double cleansing in general. I think the like formula of the product just makes it so much more enjoyable and like less of a hassle because you're like not dealing with as much like oily product um, getting everywhere 
and you don't have to like dip your finger or spatula or whatever into like a tub of cleansing balm. So um, this one is actually their pilot version. I think you can still get it online. I actually just bought a couple more during their Black Friday sale just because I know like I actually just went through <clears throat> almost an entire tube. I did like put some into a little travel bottle because I'm gonna go on a trip very soon. But yeah, I it's only been a couple of months and I've really just like torn through the cleanser. So this is the pilot version. The, the formula itself is like a little bit runnier. You can see it's like really dripping and the other product is quite thick. Um, but it's still a really nice texture. It's In fact, this one is like a little bit easier to dispense and like apply on your face. Um, but I do think you end up using a little bit more just because it's a little bit thinner and you just the product comes out more easily anyway you just put this all over your skin massage it um, on dry skin and wash it off with water I don't know why I'm explaining how to use an oil cleanser but I have really really been enjoying this product I don't know if this one has quite the same scent as the the original version but the original version just has like this really fresh like I don't know is it like a cucumber or it's, it's just like a very fresh scent and the whole experience just makes me really enjoy double cleansing. I have been double cleansing anytime I wear any amount of makeup or any sunscreen and I think that in itself has made like a huge difference in my skin. I am doing quite a few other things as well of course but I definitely think that it's one of the, like the biggest contributing factors to leading to congestion on my forehead. For a water-based cleanser I am still using the same Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. It's a great basic cleanser that will continue to be like one of my most ride or die products. But the next product that I have been going in that I've really been loving is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner and this has 95% snail mucin. So I have used the Coaster X Snail Mucin product and I enjoyed it at the time. I think it's, I do think my skin like snail mucin as an ingredient. However, I didn't love the texture of it. It's like very thick and goopy and it like kind of gets kind of stringy and it's just not the most pleasant texture to work with. It's also a little bit harder to like layer over with. So I saw some good reviews on the Peach Slices product. I believe it's part of the same family as Peach and Lily. This one is kind of like more of their drugstore line, I think. They sell it at Ulta and then they have some of the products at CVS. So yeah, I got this at Ulta and it was like super affordable, maybe like 10 bucks for this bottle. And I have been really loving it. The texture is just like kind of like a thick water basically. So it applies really easily. I just put a little bit on and just kind of like rub and tap it in. So it's just like a really fuss free product that I feel like really calms down the skin, helps my blemishes, and is like a nice light layer that's easily layerable on top of. Another product that I like to alternate between is actually from Peach and Lily. This one is their Glass Skin Refining Serum. And this one is really nice. I have been using it for a little while. And I also think niacinamide is an ingredient that my skin enjoys. So this is also a nice morning serum that I like to apply. In the evening, I also have another product I need to talk about. It's the Crave Beauty. I also have another Crave Beauty favorite. It's the Great Barrier Relief. I like to use it in the evening. It just does a really good job of like calming down your skin and strengthening your skin barrier to protect it against all of the like acids that I'm using. I do alternate between an AHA, a BHA, and a retinoid. So I use this almost every night basically. As for acids, like I mentioned, I alternate between a couple. So the AHA that I'm currently using is also another one from Peach and Lily. This one is the Good Acids Pore Toner. I think this one has glycolic acid, but it's a pretty gentle product. I just use like a couple of drops directly on my hand, not even on a toner pad or anything and just like pat it in. I try to do it like once or twice a week. And then another hero product for me is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Gel Exfoliant. Mine looks like this and it's just the travel size bottle, but because I just use like a couple of drops directly on my hand, um, whenever I use this, like this bottle is gonna last quite a long time. So I'm glad I purchased it because I really just wanted to see 
if my skin actually liked it and it does so salicylic acid is a really great ingredient to incorporate if you have congested skin i would say i use this and the retinoid most often and then I just try to sprinkle in the HA whenever I can but this is just one of those super hyped up products that have been around for a long time and I gotta say it is worth the hype and it deserves its place <laughs> up there and if you're wondering the retinoid that I'm using my dermatologist gave me a prescription for tizeratine I don't know I think it's maybe like slightly newer of an ingredient I don't think it's like quite as popular as tread of course but it does have like all the same benefits and stuff and it's been working pretty well for me. It actually bumped me up to the 0.1% one, which I don't know how it translates to like the strength of Tret, but I do think it is a little bit on the stronger side. I end up using this like two to three times a week and to be honest, when you go through so many products, it's really hard to like pinpoint what exactly is doing what to your skin, but I have been really liking how my skin is looking lately and I do think this has definitely helped. Okay, moving on to moisturizer. The moisturizer that I have been using, I've been kind of switching between a couple. I think switching up my moisturizer was like the first thing I did once I solidified that I do not have fungal acne. So I got this one from Vanna Cream. It's their daily moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And it's really good. I actually really like it. So the first three ingredients are, are water squalane or squalane and glycerin and I'm actually surprised there's that much squalane in here. It does feel really moisturizing. It almost has that kind of like cooling effect when you put it on. So I'm actually going to put a little bit on right now. It has more of like a like a gel cream texture I would say. It's very lightweight and I think it's a really good moisturizer for the summer but it's definitely not moisturizing enough for me in the winter time so I have been layering on top of it. <laughs> I went kind of crazy and purchased quite a few so I have some options. First one is the one that I picked up when I was in Paris and it's the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5 Plus. So this is another one of those products that are just has just been around and people swear by it so I had to pick it up. I just picked up this kind of like travel size bottle and it is quite nice. I used it a couple of nights in Paris and it is very nice and moisturizing. I like this one. I haven't used it too much. And then when I placed a big K Beauty skincare order, I picked up the Illyun Ceramide Ato Concentrate Cream and then the Etude House Soonjung Two Times Barrier Intensive Cream. I was actually super hyped to try Illyun because I've heard really great things about it. Um, I also picked up their like body lotion or I think you can use it on the face as well but it's just like the lighter version of this um, and I do really like the lotion the cream I'm not sure if I'm getting on with just yet I need to use it a little bit more because I did start breaking out a little bit once I got back from Paris um, however the Etude House one has seemed to work really well so I'm gonna keep alternating between all of the different creams but the Etude House one is the one that I'm gonna be bringing with me on my trip yeah, if I had to compare, I would say that the Etude House one might have the lightest texture out of all three creams, but it's still very nicely moisturizing. And I almost feel like it gives a little bit more of like a dewy finish, whereas the Illyun one um, and the Cicaplast Balm have like a little bit more of a thicker texture that isn't super dewy, if that makes sense. The Etude House one is interesting. It has kind of like this sterile type of packaging where you have to twist it to unlock it and then it kind of squeeze out the product from this little line and then sunscreen so i should definitely put on sunscreen my new apartment has so many windows which is like so cool and such a blessing but it's also kind of a curse like it is winter now pretty much and It'll be like 30 degrees outside, but still like 80 degrees inside my apartment because I have south facing windows and the sun just like will be in. I've talked about the sunscreen quite a bit on my channel. It's the Dermatology sunscreen. It's a physical sunscreen and it's really great. Um, probably like my favorite physical sunscreen that I've used. Actually, it might be a hybrid. I think octanoxate is a chemical filter. But it has 12% zinc oxide. Um, I'm mostly just trying to use up 
the stock that I have for this product because I would stock up on it during Black Friday and stuff like that. The main reason why is just because it's kind of annoying to like travel with this. I will like drop the cap even at home and then it'll crack and not fit really well on here anymore. It's not very secure and obviously without the cap it's not very travel friendly so I'm just trying to use up this product. And now that I don't have Fung Lacne I can try all of the fun Korean skin, um, Korean sunscreens. So I have been using, oh, I have been using the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. I bought that one because it seemed to be like the most hyped up sunscreen this year. I liked it, but I think there's something about this product that makes my skin, I don't know if my skin is just being sensitive with the retinoid or anything, but I have noticed a couple times when I've used the sunscreen that there's just like some sort of feeling that doesn't sit well with me. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I did pick up the Essentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. People said this is really great for the winter or for dry skin. So I definitely picked this one up and have been enjoying it. And then I have one that I haven't even opened yet, but it is another Illyune product. It's the Easy Wash Sunscreen. And I thought this would be a really great product because since I do work from home, there's like a lot of days where I'm only putting on sunscreen because I have these huge ass windows and it is kind of annoying to like try to remember to double cleanse every time. So the selling point of this product apparently is that it washes off pretty easily. So maybe this wouldn't be a product you would want to wear when you go swimming. But if I'm just like at home having like a nice sunscreen that I don't have to worry about clogging my pores seems like a really great option. And this is a big bottle. It's like five fluid ounces or 150 milliliters compared to this one, which is only 50. So it's just like a nice value sized little sunscreen to use when I'm at home. But yeah, haven't tried that out yet. I would say my favorite at the moment right now is the Essentry one. But I think I'm just gonna keep with my dermatology one just so I can make my way through it. Okay, oh shoot. I need to put on, I'm like super dewy right now, but I need to put on the Merit product. I don't know if this is going to layer well, but I, I guess it'll be a good like makeup prep hopefully. I can't get over this box. I just want to like keep it and display products like this all the time. <laughs> okay, so here is the oil serum. I think, is this a, oh, it's little, it's a little pump packaging. How cute pump a bit out to see what the texture's like. And it's a nice oil. I'm just gonna concentrate it on the parts where I get the driest. I feel like a product like this actually would be really nice for makeup prep. Um, cause like before I started introducing those more moisturizing creams, my skin was flaky. So I feel like something like this would definitely help manage that before the makeup goes on. Let me go grab my makeup bag and then we will try out the rest of the products. This is what my makeup bag is looking like right now. Um, I haven't really dabbled much or like discovered many new beauty products this year, which is honestly fine by me. I have so much makeup and not many opportunities to wear it anymore so it just makes it honestly easier to just kind of have a couple products that I can rely on. So yeah the Kosas concealer is still my favorite. If you have like kind of hollow under eyes like me this concealer is amazing because it really like reflects the light back really well. Um, it's nicely hydrating for those dry under eyes and yeah it's great. Something I have been using more consistently is my Fenty Ease Drops. I actually mix the two shades but I don't have my other one right now because um, the shade 3 is like a tad tad light for me and not quite as golden as I would prefer. <clears throat> But it's just like really nice at evening out the skin so I don't have to apply like a ton of concealer. 
and um, this product in particular just like really smooths out my skin nicely, gives a nice finish. So it remains a solid favorite. Oh, something I have been doing a little bit differently now is using like a cream contour and bronzing less, especially in the winter, but I just feel like this technique is a little bit more flattering on my skin tone. It doesn't look quite as like stark like when I have like a super bronzed and blushed face and then my rest of my body is just like plain and pale. So um, this is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Amber and I don't even remember buying this but I have it in my collection and I pulled it out. It's like really nice. It It's not like super gray at all. It just adds a nice bit of dimension. That is all I want on my face. On my eyes, we're gonna keep it super natural and go with the whole mirror aesthetic. Let's go into the brow pomade. I really do think this is a different product. I hope I'm not wrong. But. Maybe I just had a different color. Sorry, I was looking in the big mirror instead of my camera to do my brows, but I actually really like them. I really like the product. It was super easy to apply, but it gave me that really nice feathery brow look that I like. And we'll see how well it holds them up, but I mean my... I'm currently using the e.l.f. Brow Lift, and I like that product. It works fine, but I don't actually know how well it holds my brows at the end of the day. I feel like they do drop a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. So we also have the mascara, the lipstick, and the highlighter. So let me do a little bit of blush. My go-to blush lately has actually been this MAC Glow Play blush before. It's not new to my collection, but um, I just kind of got lazy about using liquid and cream blushes all the time. And this one gives like a really, really similar effect, if not even prettier because it's a little bit more buildable. Kind of has like a little bit of a watercolor texture as people say. I might have just picked up too much but it's like nice to be able to just like blend out your blush like this. And I really like this color. This one is in the shade Grand and I feel like I just haven't found any other rosy toned blushes that um, kind of translate on my skin the way this one does. The lighting in here is definitely messed up though because of my bathroom. Let me do a little bit of eyeliner. And I'm going to need to stick to the mirror for this, so I'll be right back. Eyeliner is on. <laughs> Lashes are curled. And I feel like eyeliner always makes the biggest difference, especially on me. Fun fact, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of glitter. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. Fun fact, <laughs> eyeliner was like the only makeup I wore in college for the most part. Like it was like the thing I would put on every day for class and stuff. And there was one day where I didn't wear eyeliner. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even, I don't think there was like a particular reason. Like I was tired or anything. I think it was because I maybe was like trying out a different makeup aesthetic or something. And I just remember the guy in my class, my friend, he was like, Allison, you look so tired today. Are you tired? And I was like, why did you say that? No, I'm not tired. <laughs> I just decided to change up my look, you know? And yeah, that's when I realized that guys just don't know anything. <laughs> okay, let's put on the mascara. Like I said, I have really straight Asian lashes, so I'm not like expecting too much, but we're gonna put it on. The packaging 
super super cute so let's do it also I don't know if you noticed but I got my nails done I've actually been taking pottery classes for the past 12-ish weeks and it's been really fun I have taken pottery classes before and it's it it's difficult like I'm not one of those people who um, it just like clicks for them. <laughs> there was one guy I saw when I went to the studio to practice and like his friend came in just like, did you make that? It was like a huge, huge bowl. Like imagine like a fruit bowl. It's, it was bigger than that. And he threw that and his friend was like, what the heck? Like you only first year taking classes and me and like everyone else around him were like shook. So I'm definitely not on that level this is a pretty subtle mascara maybe I just need to like get more anyway yeah um so I haven't had gel nails in a while and I think maybe that would hold up better to having your clans in the clay and on the wheel all the time but um my regular polish for sure just like gets destroyed and um like once your nail polish chips that would also get like caught in the clay so I just kind of like haven't done my nails for the past couple of months <laughs> but since I'm going on a trip and I'm going to my best friend's wedding and I'm not gonna be doing pottery I figured it would be the perfect time to treat myself and get my nails done so I got the like cat eye velvet nail polish effect it's really really cool I think it's like definitely my favorite nail trend um, I tried out or I like attempted to try the Hailey Bieber um, chrome nails but my salon didn't really have a great chrome color like the ones they had were more like blue and green tone shifts and I feel like you need like a basic silver chrome for that effect so it like it turned out kind of weird. I didn't really like it. So it definitely doesn't hold the curl, but it's cute. I like it. The nice thing about like not having thick lashes is that you can really see the eyeshadow, especially when you put on some glitters. So I think that's a cute look. Even though I am super dewy, we still gotta apply the highlighter for the holiday effect, you know. So let me just take some. And I'm just gonna pat it in. Oh yeah. So pretty. I definitely feel like I kind of fell out with highlighter for a while. Like, it was such a big, like, makeup aesthetic trend for a while. Like, it was like, once there was highlighter, I was like, how can I ever go without highlighter again? Like, it's so crazy. But once you kind of shift into like cream products and more dewy skincare and stuff, like you just don't really need it as much. But for the holiday parties, I definitely love this. Okay, yeah, now for the part that I'm the most excited about is the lipstick. So pretty, their packaging is just so gorgeous. So again, I'm not gonna pronounce the name, but it's their new limited edition red color. Ooh. See how it just like, it's on, but it's not like super overpowering. It's more of like a little bit of a blotted look. Hmm. And it, it smells kind of nice. I don't know if their lipsticks are supposed to have a scent, but I kind of like it. Alright, what do we think? I don't know if it would be maybe a little bit better to pair this with a lip liner, but I really like the effect that it gives. It looks super natural, like I am wearing like a red lip, but you can't really tell, you know? It's kind of like that popsicle little stain look. Alright, All right, I put on a little sweater, put on some rings to make me feel like I'm dressed and going to a holiday party. And here's the final look. I think it's very natural, chic, still kind of holiday-esque, and it's very, very cute. Okay, I think that's all the time I have to film right now. 
I still need to like pack for my trip and go to the studio to glaze some stuff and do work today so yeah I will touch back in a little bit later hopefully and then we can go over some of the like fashion and adjacent things that I've been loving lately before we close down. Okay see you in a bit. Okay I am walking uphill slightly uphill to go and pick up my bridesmaid dress that got altered nearby and I just wanted to hop on camera because I really like how my little red beanie looks with the lip. So cute, right? I love this beanie. It's like a like a, a little bit more orangey. Anyway, yeah. Spurring a Uniqlo coat. And I gotta cross the street now. My dress been acquired. Okay, just got back from running my quick little errands. Um, here's my cute little entryway. I love this little asymmetrical mirror and then we have like shoe cabinets down here. Here's a better look at my outfit. Got my red beanie. I got this from um, Gallery Lafayette in Paris. They had a bunch of colors in these 100% wool beanies and they're only like 30 euros which I feel like I've never seen a wool beanie that cheap before. Anyway, love it. And then I am wearing a, this Uniqlo coat. This is actually from the men's section and I'm wearing it in a size extra just small. You can't really see it that well here. But just wearing a white uh, long sleeve, rib long sleeve from, where's it from? From Abercrombie. And then this is the La Mer croissant bag. I have been obsessed with these style of bags you can like see them hanging on this little shelf behind me i have like two different ones from uniqlo and then i have this one um and then jeans you can't see but i'm wearing the levi's 501 90s jeans i'm also going to be talking about these later but they are by far my favorite levi's i feel like my favorites switch every year but i have a feeling these are gonna stay just because they fit like my body type particularly well I think. And then I am wearing my Adidas Sambas. Hello. So clearly I wasn't able to film my like sit down try on of all my favorite things. So I am very sorry about that. I am in Singapore right now for my best friend's wedding. So things have been a little bit busy, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video and I will do my best to like get up either maybe like a youtube post or maybe i'll just add links in the description box of like some of my favorite things that i've been loving with links to them so check it out and thank you guys so much for watching it's been nice making a video again and hopefully i'll see you guys soon um i still am somewhat active on instagram so if you want to follow me it's by allison Crin. so thank you guys happy holidays and happy new year bye